Welcome back to round one, back nine coverage of the 2022 Three Rivers Open. Uh, you're joined, I'm joined here by Aiden Hostler, and as always, this is Kevin Fodry. Uh, thanks so much to our sponsors, Michiana Pro Shop, Lone Star Discs, and BF Goodrich for, for sponsoring the tournament, as well as the coverage. Um, we had an awesome front nine, uh, some unfortunate holes, but some great birdies. Uh, it's a tight battle here, Bryson and Brad both playing very well. Tony uh, had a couple of rough holes, but he's brought it right back. And uh, same story with DW, just a couple of bad holes, but um, some great play from them. So you know that they're still they're still right in it. A lot of, lot of birdie holes on this back nine. So still plenty of scoring to be had. First hole on this back nine is going to be hole 11, par three. Just 295 all the way down this tunnel. It's going to be at the end here, right before that honeysuckle behind the basket. You're going to see a lot of like... Heiser mid-ranges flipped up to flat, kind of drifting, or you could even see uh, a forehand turnover play, probably from Brad here, which uh, works very well for the hole. Yeah, the forehand turnover play is how the hole was designed to be played. Um, that backhand that DW just threw right there is very hard because um, this, this gets tight quick and the turn is steep at the beginning, so it's very easy when you throw a backhand to go long into those trees and just, I mean, jail. Despite the distance, this is one of the hardest holes to birdie on the course. So yeah. um, very easy par, but the birdie is tough. Brad's going to work this sidearm from right to left. And that's going to be great. Looks like it got up into circle one, maybe even a touch long. Got some bushes there about circle's edge um, on the left before the basket that you see a lot of the forehands and then the backhand hyzers get caught up in. Yeah. Bryson's going to, that looks nice. Also a forehand, a, a little, little, inside, a little right? early, but he's going to leave himself a 55, 60 footer there. Never going to be mad about your disc ending up in the middle of the fairway. Yeah. Yeah. He's not going to be too mad. He definitely went inside. So to be in the center of the fairway is, you know, you're going to be all right with it. Tony, uh, Tony's getting tired of these, these patent pendings. Uh, he's thrown one more than he's, he'd like to, I think, but he's, he's thrown them pretty well so far. So. And that's, uh, that's no exception. That was a great, oh, last tree, keeping him out. That's, that's a tricky putt. Now he's got probably 30 feet and obstructed. Bryson's got a stepper, just a little, little high and left. Gonna have a 15 footer for par. And DW got a 45, circle, 50 footer. So yeah, it's good here. Yeah. Not an easy putt for sure, but not a lot of danger near it. So you can kind of run it off the band. Uh, off the band. Close. Small gap here for Tony. <laughs> Especially if you miss hole 10, you, you like to get one back here. Uh, you definitely don't expect a birdie maybe on this hole, but definitely want to get one back if you miss a hole 10 before this. And Tony cleans up a par from about 30. Yeah, that's a great putt. No. <laughs> Brad's going to make his oh, way yeah, his yeah. and you got a little long, oh yeah, and you can see once you when you get long, it's uh, it's thick back here. So he's gonna have a tricky putt. <laughs> wow. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's not he's not thrilled about this spot after what he thought was just a perfect drive. And you can't see the basket from the tee pad, so you really have no idea where your disc goes. Yeah, and you can see he didn't really have a lot there. It's unfortunate to know you threw a good shot, but yet you have almost no chance. Literally of no luck. Yeah. Bryson's going to clean up his car here. Great putt. Good looking putt. Going to get to see him throw another big shot on this next hole. Yeah, and I'm interested to see what, what kind of distance uh, DW can show again, because that... That last hole, he, he threw probably the longest drive of the day. Great putt from there. Just uh, cleaning up a lot of pars, and that's pretty standard for this hole. Uh, not not going to see a lot of bogeys, but the, the birdies are tough. Hole 12, par 4, 686 along the road here. You're going to have flagged and lined OB on the right side. <laughs> OB Road on the left, going to have this uh, these trees and the mulch up here, going to be about 100 and into the basket, maybe like 90, uh, to have to throw over those for your second, get into this green here, 
Um, normally a pretty windy hole, as you can hear the cars roaring by on the left side. Yeah, it's nervy for sure because you know you can if you go OB, you're also thinking about not hitting a car. <laughs> the OB is right there down the whole left side. So and then obviously during the tournament we play OB on the whole right side. Uh, there's flags staked there on the ground. So. Yeah, it gets it gets tricky for sure. Um, seems like a straightforward hole, but very easy to pick up that OB stroke. DW puts his out in the middle there, a little little Look, low for yeah. his liking. Uh, Tony getting that height on this one, just a little hyzer out there. Yeah, I'm just looking for a position play. This hole is really as long as you stay in bounds, it's all about the second shot. So they're all just trying to put a driver out in the middle, yeah, try and make that hyzer. second shot a little shorter, but. See what Bryson does here. Probably a different halo destroyer. Looking over the road. Kind of big Anheuser. Burns it. And it stays in bounds, so that's going to be just fine. Plenty of distance on it. Being over there on that left side, you could take that forehand to the left of those trees and kind of have nothing in your way almost. And, or you could take that back Anheuser as well. You have any option you want. It's a tricky shot because those trees are decently tall and when you're coming in, you've got to get over them, but you don't want to go too high because then you're going to drift either left or right or you're going to go long and there is actually OB long, about 40 feet of the basket. Brad with a forehand, going to land like circle's edge to the right yeah, over there. That'll be another 35, 40 footer. Nice with the Kiwi again. Kaiser. Was it a little short, but 20, 20 feet? Yeah. yeah, not bad. DW with a hyzer. Pretty stock. Yeah, and that's great. Yeah, 10 feet. Yeah, great shot. For being a little low, we still got plenty of distance on it, and we got up there for a pretty easy birdie. Great putt. Oh, from man. Brad. Great putt from Brad. He's just so clean. Moves to five down through 12 now. Good looking round going for the defending champion. Not the defending champion. But Not the defending champion. I think actually, no. Yeah, two years ago he won. Two years ago. Yeah. On that lead card with Tony and uh, Elijah. Tony, and, Elijah, and Brent Coons. Yeah, 2020. The year Schick won. Yeah, it was 2020. DW for bird from like 10 feet over here. Gonna get him under par again. Yeah, he's had a little bit of a roller coaster around here going up and down, uh, but you know, he keeps on fighting his way back, getting back under par, and with plenty of birdie holes left. So that jumps us into hole 13, par four, 445 feet, OB right side, this path all the way down, and then obviously road long OB. Um, it's a tricky hole. It's it's pretty easy. You kind of expect to birdie this one. It's one of the easiest holes on the course. Um, but it, I mean, you take that OB stroke. The you know it's very easy to do, and the the birdie's completely out of the question. So one of the more frustrating pars for sure. And you're gonna see DW throw a backhand over here, stalling, getting get into those clump of trees, and that should be a 200, 220 foot up shot. To yeah, a little step out. Hand from Tony. Yeah. See that a lot here on this hole. Yeah, the forehand's definitely safe. You're not going to get down there for any kind of a look at an eagle, but none of these guys are looking for it except maybe Bryson, uh, just because he's played here enough. He, he knows he can go for it. The eagle is attainable. Yeah, um, it's definitely there. I mean, I've seen it happen multiple times. I've done it. It's, it's there. It's just one destroyer high. That's yeah. That's fine. Down. Just hits the tree and trickles down. I mean, that's the you got to get behind it or in front of it, and uh, if you don't, you're probably just gonna hit that tree and drop down for an easy. As you can see, you got the path on the right side over here. Ob gonna oh, throw no. over it. Come back. That's ob right away. And then it never comes back in. So that's gonna be tough for Tony. And Bryson with probably a zone needs to get down <laughs> way deep. Still. Still in bounds, but he's going to be in circle two with uh, 
some wires in his way on his punt here. DW with the Great shot. back hand, and that's yep. going to be... A little awkward footing, but pretty easy. Pretty, pretty easy approach shot there. Schick left it a little short. Left a little 20-footer. Uh, definitely not something you want to do when, when it's that open, but... Tony can still save sure he's par fine. here. Man. This is where Bryson's second shot ends up yeah. here. Jumper. Oh, man. Almost. Almost saved that little thing back there. And Brad to get a stroke on the car? No. Not happy about that one. Oh, DW so, is still going to pump. Yeah, so as you can see, I mean, it's one of the easier holes on the course, but, I mean, the birdie slips away quick. Uh, we got one guy putting for birdie now. Yeah, typically you're not picking up a stroke on your whole card getting a birdie on this hole. DW so. grinding back down to two under uh, after a, a shaky uh, middle of that front front ten holes. Yeah. Battles his way back here going into hole 14. And we're going to have Tony tapping in his unfortunate five on hole 13. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that you know, DW is really showing you he, you know, he's had a couple of really bad breaks, but he's brought it back every single time. Hole 14, par three, 298 across this little pond here. One of the more uh, technical tee shots from on, on a, for a par three at this course. You're gonna see backhand uh, straight shots. You're gonna see some forehand flex shots, maybe. Uh, definitely contesting these uh, trees on the right and the left side. Yeah. Very touchy shot. And there's an OB line painted down there, so if you if you hit a tree or you know you leave it short, you can be dry and still be OB. So Tr tricky shot for sure. DW with the pimp job. Yeah, that's a great shot. He's gonna leave himself a nice 25 foot open cut there. See Brad with the sidearm here. A couple different ways of going about it. You go up the gun. It's gonna be tight. Out, oh, right, got that's through. Yeah, put. yeah. Typically, does not get through. Usually, hit one of those inside trees and and kick out into the middle. But he's gonna be just fine there. He's probably got a twenty eight foot birdie putt from circle one. This one might be working on his captain's raptor here with a little flex. That looks good. That does look good. Oh, oh, oh and <laughs> I called it. And it hits. <laughs> Hits the camera guy and gets a today. very fortunate stop because that had a lot of speed on it. Hopefully the cameraman is okay. That's a that's a fast uh, moving disc. Yeah, you don't there. really want to get hit by a captain's raptor thrown by Bryson, but Tony with a backhand looks like it's going right a little bit. Oh, fortunate break. And that's that. yeah, and that's that's what happens when you go early is you, you know Brad Scott through and you just don't see that very often so. That's a pretty more uh, a pretty standard uh, outcome from going early inside. Very common spot right here. Yeah. Um, but that'll be fine. Just taking a par. You're not losing too much there. That it's a, it's a it's not a it's not a bonus birdie, but it's definitely not a gimme. Brad doesn't give it enough there. Have a tap in par. DW for bird now. He's rattle off a few. Yeah, more. a little high. You can see he was nervous about it, but in is in. Bryson. Gets a uh, tap in. Yeah, very fortunate birdie after hitting the cameraman. Um, still probably would have had a nice putt at it, but definitely didn't hurt. Hopefully Bryson gave him a thank you after that. Yeah, tip your cameraman. <laughs> Tony will tap in the par. That moves us into hole 15, par 3, 363 feet, dead straight tunnel shot. Uh, very thick rough on the left and uh, definitely some trouble on the right. You got an OB creek in the middle. We're actually playing the long pin here across the road. Road is not OB here, but um, you can see these guardian trees here. Uh, you see a pretty standard play from an MPO player is going to be a fairway driver. Just flip to flat and try and go dead straight down the tunnel. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's what we're seeing right here from DW. Playing as the fifth hardest hole in the day. Great looking backhand. Per perfect shot. 20 footer for 20, DW. 25 foot, yeah, 20, 25 foot. For potentially 
four in it. Is that four in a row? Yeah, four in a row. Bryson, so maybe a buzz here. It's drifting right, which isn't bad. Yeah, it's gonna be right. Not not looking at a birdie there, but very easy par. Very touchy sidearm here. Yeah, there's that OB Creek in the middle there is uh you know, if you hit a tree, you can kick right back into that water very Brad. easily. Brad. Great forehand, looks like. Love that oh, shot Oh, yeah. There from Brad. Look at that. That is a touchy flex forehand, and it, it looked great. Not many people step up to this tee and think forehand. Yeah. Tony's shot's drifting left a little bit. It's going to be in the rough over yeah, there. Yeah, and that's thick, so just pitching out, hoping to try to maybe pitch up close enough for a putt and get your three there. Bryson's just fine. The Berg. It's a tree and leaves himself. That's going to be outside circle. Probably 35 feet. Yeah, or so. Tony. He got, oh, he got up through there quite a bit. So yeah. definitely salvageable for Pretty sure. Pretty no short sidearm here. Yeah. Just fine. Almost throws it in. Goes a little long to about 25. So little little meat on the bone still, but should be pretty fine. Yeah, this looks outside circle even. Yeah, it sure is. Look at that. Oh, man. Bryson definitely going to be bummed about hitting that tree there on the approach shot. Can't blame your putter for that one. No, yeah. DW for birdie. Great birdie. On a Four roll. straight for DW. That's going to bring him right back into the equation. I mean, yeah. Safe to say he's getting hot. Yeah, it's crazy how good his round could have been without just those couple of bad holes. Uh, I mean, he, he's been playing great, racking up birdies all over the course. Brad with the, I'd assume, rare sidearm birdie. Yeah. On hole 15. Yeah, that's a great birdie for sure. Let's see what Bryson, Bryson's got. Left for bogey. Yeah, I'm not gonna be happy with the with the bogey, but still not, plenty not, of yeah, not, and not too many blemishes on his round. So, hole 16, the shortest hole on the course, par three, 195 feet. You're gonna see many pitch sidearms up and through this gap up to up the hill, where the pin's gonna sit in between these few trees over here. Very tight gap initially off the tee. And yeah. You got to hit another one about 130 up there. Yeah, it's a tight gap, but if you have any kind of a forehand, even if it's just workable, uh, I mean, you're going to be pretty bummed if you don't birdie this hole. Yeah, potentially in your must-get category. Yeah, out on this course, this hole's about as must-get as, as you can find, but you can still get into trouble. There's OB left. You can hit a tree and go out of bounds, um, and then there's a hill behind the basket, so even a good shot can roll down there. So it's tricky, but um, as far as Tillman goes, it's one of the easiest ones. So a couple, couple short, couple short drives there. They're gonna have. If some. you're anywhere short of up the hill, it's gonna be a difficult up and down for sure. But yeah. Tony. Man, all, all three, through, but... all three hitting that early right side there. See if Bryson can prove our point here. A little wider. And that's a little long. And that's, Man. And that, that looked like it almost slid down. It might have gone down to the bottom of the hill. Got some circle two looks on this. Yeah, floor. this, you know, this card, uh, you know, full of a lot of really good, talented players, especially at mm -hmm. the forehand. So I'm um, surprised to not see anyone closer on this one. You can see the downhill behind the basket could potentially come into play with these putts here. Oh, uh, that was great looking putt. Top band, there. bottom bottom rim, and just not in. You can see that putter's feeling good right now. Yeah, hit every part of the basket but in. Tony just misses, and there's that hill we were talking about. Rolls down. That's a tough putt now. Mm -hmm. Bryson's got a hey, pretty putt. Yeah, he stayed up. So... Uh, doesn't get it, but you know, had a nice safe bid at it. And 
Brad from Circle Edge in the yeah. dead center. The yeah, brand. that might even been outside. So great moves, putt. Moves to seven under through sixteen here. Yeah, Got a good looking round. Going. A couple of a couple of weird holes uh, on this round so far. I mean, hole thirteen normally, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, one you can see star frames on, and then hole sixteen one you can normally see star frames on, and they those ones were the harder holes on the card. So, kind of a strange. They they're playing the the really mm -hmm. hard holes really well. Yeah. Bryson cleans up the par here. Yeah, Tony's going to be very bummed about the bogey there for sure. Um, just kind of a little bit of a spit out there uh, on the left side, but... Definitely something that just makes you shake your head. Yeah. Kentucky cleans up. Yeah. Not too thrilled about the way they played the hole, but they're still playing just fine. Um, Brad, obviously, just on a little bit of a heater starting here, but hole 17 is a par four. It's only 352 feet, but uh, there's not a lot of ways to make this uh, any easier than a par four. Uh, it's it, it's a placement shot. There's a mando right off the tee. You have to go dead straight placement shot and then go another long tunnel shot back mm -hmm. to the basket. So um, it's a, a straightforward hole, but tricky, especially if you don't make that first gap. It's very easy to hit the gap a little too well and go a little long off the off the tee. Yeah, get Schick, out of that landing zone. Chick was a little long there, there for sure. Woody, or excuse me, DW gets that hyzer and <laughs> look at that. Wrong Haas. There's too many of them. Yeah. And Stacy on the tee here. <laughs> Am I gonna take a? Oh my goodness. Oh, Kiss and it worked so just much. fine. A little bit of. Home course love from Bryson there. Looks good for Tony. Tony's gonna be just fine with that. Nice little kick to keep him out. If you get if you get long in those woods, if you get over that little wood barrier or the log barrier on the ground, you can get uh you can get pretty hairy in there. Uh, you're probably not birdieing if you get too deep in there. Brad takes yep. no time to get that one off, and he's going to right under the bench. Super simple little zone up shot right there. Uh, if you're anywhere clear of the brush here, you're probably just going to take a pretty easy birdie. A little tricky shot here from Tony. Yeah, and that's just fine. He's going to be in circle one, putting from probably about 20 to 25 feet. short up shot here for yeah. DW. Takes care of that Perfect. nicely. Yeah, he really cleaned up this round on this this back nine so far, which you, you see pretty commonly on this course is people will play much better on the back than the front. It's it's definitely the, the harder or the easier of the of the two sides. And that putt gets away from Tony there. You get these guys cleaning up. Bryson moves to five under. He's got a chance to get a couple more birdies. Yeah, make it off the round. Brad with the tap in, and DW as well. Brad moves to eight under, going into hole 18. Yeah. All right, well, hole 18, par four, 430 feet. Mando right off the tee pad. Uh, it's gonna push you. It's a, it's a forehand or a big backhand turnover. You're gonna want to land right around where the camera's at now, and then uh, move up here into this peninsula to the right side. There is sloping and water behind the basket. It's a little far, so it's not mm -hmm. really super in play. But the hill definitely can leave you with a tricky putt, especially if you go long on that backside. So you've got a mandatory uh, on this second tree up the fairway here off the yeah. tee. And it just can come just forces you to to make a smart decision. Mm -hmm. I think that's more of a pace of play mandatory than anything else, just so people don't try to go big over the top mm -hmm. to the right. Um, I've seen it done uh, when we weren't playing with the Mando, but it's, uh, yeah, it can add a lot of time to the round. DW with that touchy backhand. A little straight. That's, it's going to be pinched on the left side, but it'll be all right. He looked like he had enough room to swing a forehand there. If Bryson can get some height on this shot here, like so. Oh man, that's gonna kick straight down. Little left. Yeah, it kicks straight down. What Bryson's trying to do is basically just go over everything. And try and land his sidearm 
basically all the way down the fairway, which is a common play for those guys that have that sidearm in their bag. Tony with a backhand here. Yeah, right. Very and the backhand's definitely the play if you want to get all the way to the basket, oh. but you can see how many trees are in this fairway. I mean, it's mm -hmm. it's luck once you get. Would love to see where that would have ended up without that tree kick there for yeah. Tony. That could have been eagle territory for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Bryson's got a, a good spot here if he can make something happen on this second. Yeah, again, I mean, look at how tight that that fairway is so tight <laughs> with those trees. <laughs> Expecting a little bit of skip, but didn't get any there. Um, there's a lot of mulch up there, so usually you do get quite a bit of flare, so getting no skips a little unlucky there. Brad in the rough on the right side. This right side is very, very rough. Uh, one of the worst um, out at Tillman Park. Yeah, and especially because you've got to go to the right, but not until you get way up there to the left. So Look at this. Oh, my gosh. That's Just a great... Oh, it's that phenomenal shot from Brad. Yeah, it's He's, it's tough to get up there that close to the basket when you're when you're on that side. See a forehand here, and that's good as well. Yeah, great shot from DW. Another birdie for DW. Yeah, wow, man, he's really strung them together on this back. Tony, the great tee shot, simple second shot, and goes a just uh, yeah a little long, but he should be all right there, twenty feet. Bryson with the bird from a hundred. Give it a bid. Yeah, not bad. That'll be parked. So pretty, pretty straightforward. It's a great part. It's a really great part for the Eagles there, but not without bringing in a little bit of danger. Um, but if you just play this as a placement, placement shot, it's a pretty standard birdie. And Tony gets the birdie there with the putt from down the hill. Yeah, get gets back. him back under par. Yeah, back under par for Tony. Brad's going to move to nine under, which is starting to get into that hot, hot round territory for sure. This uh, this layout is very challenging, as you've seen, and uh, nine down is a very good round. Bryson with the par. And DW cleaned up another birdie on the back. I mean, that's so many birdies on this back. <laughs> Moving into our last hole of our back nine coverage. Hole 19, par four, 550 feet. You're gonna wanna throw a sidearm or a backhand turnover outside of this gap right here to the landing zone. And then another about 300 to 350 foot second shot, a very windy second shot that you don't necessarily feel in the tunnel. Yeah, you can't uh, you can't feel the wind at all until really you get out there. really hard to get that angle right and three, get, the, seven, get the disc three, close to the basket. It's very easy to get a putt. But. Well, shout out to Women of the Fort for sponsoring Hole 19. We've got an awesome group of ladies that play every week, and uh, if you're interested in playing and joining, uh, they'd love to have you out there. Yeah. Very easy to take a sidearm and push it too straight. Um, yeah, that corner comes up quick. Corner comes up quick, so you want to want to make sure you throw a disc with enough stability to, that you can trust it to get, get yeah. right out of that gap as well. Yeah, stability and slow, or you've got to really get it hysered. Yeah, which Brad's done right Looking here. Looking great here. And that's perfectly. Picture perfect drive. Yeah, if you could set your disc there on every single shot, you would. Yeah, that's I perfect. would take that every day. Yeah. DW with a sidearm off the tee here. Seen him throw a lot of nice backhand turnovers today. The backhand turnover is tough on this hole because Very. of that tree right there off the tee really blocks you going for like a mm -hmm. sweeping turnover, which is what you need to get around that corner. So unless you're throwing something that's a paper plate, you're pretty <laughs> much throwing a forehand here. Yeah. Go. Tony's looks good. Maybe a pushing little a little straight. Yeah, and that happens a lot on this hole. You push a, a drive that looks great, and it gets in that little bush on the corner, which is even smaller now than it used to be. And it is just, I mean, you're not getting a birdie because you just can't get any power behind your shot. Bryson shot a little inside. Kick straight like down. Heavy, it's going to take a really tough shot to... to oh, oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, sure. the, yeah. Immediately from this spot, you know birdie's out of the question. So, unless you're throwing it in. That's going to make his par a little easier here if he gets it out there. Yeah. Did that 
hit the tree bridge right there. Than, yeah, it hit some branches, oh, but Bryson yeah. tells us it, uh, it's out in the middle. Not straight down. Not what he wanted, but not much more you can get from that spot. What so. do you know? Rough spot on this left side. There is there is a little creek if you get left enough. Yeah, you can go OB. There is a OB creek left, but I mean you got to go really left. And so he, he puts it out in the middle. Yeah, pitching out. Tony in another tough spot as well. Looks like he's setting up a roller here. Again, yeah, when you, you throw a good shot, but if it gets a little too long, then there's nothing. That's a good looking shot. Yep, just fine. He's gonna leave himself with 270 to the basket, 260. And Brad with our only birdie chance on the card, it seems. We go with the Heiser. And that's, even that is gonna be a little tricky. it right there yeah a little 10 footer great great uh smart play from dw honestly just pitching out and taking your medicine getting the par bryson leaves his uh, little third, short little yeah. short he's not gonna be thrilled with that definitely upset about the branch kick down there tony with the forehand it's a little anheuser on it leaves it a little short and right but yeah it's fine 25 foot uh, 25 foot this is a very windy, testy putt here to end your round on day one. And, and he makes it. it. That's a great putt to end the round. Not not the round he was necessarily hoping for, but he, he cleaned it up quite a bit and played it, put together a solid round. Um, had some really good putts, so good energy to be taken into round two. Tony sneaks that one in there. Yeah. Tony Man. just cleaned up the par again. Not not the round he wanted, but you know he's he he managed the damage well and uh, kept himself able to clean it up for round two. Brad with a shorty to put himself at under. ten under. Yeah, ten under is officially the the very hot category. So ten ten down is going to keep him right in it. Um, yeah, that's a great round. You saw Schick just showing a lot of consistency and clean play throughout, and then really good decision making. And a great par from DW. So that's, uh, yeah, that's the round. Um, you know, we saw a lot of good shots today, and um, I expect to see more of them from all those guys. Uh, round one, we had Bryson at minus five, Tony minus one, DW minus six, and Schick with a minus 10. You can see Schick tied for the hot round with a minus 10. Tyler Horn, uh, I know is a good friend of Brad. They played quite a bit. So round two, we'll have Trevin and Woody Haas, actually, DW's brother, join the, uh, Brad and Tyler on lead card. So tune back in for round two action. Uh, thanks again to all of our sponsors and Skyheiser for the video. Uh, this has been your commentary crew of Kevin Fodry and Aiden Hostler, and we look forward to seeing you again.